Will again coming uh, coming coming from uh, Texas here. I got my boy Parker with me again, and uh, we're going to do another PGX unboxing. Uh, we sent this out uh, about a month and a half ago, maybe, and um, just yeah. got them back. We go well, to the comic book store. Yeah, that's what you said last time. <laughs> we like going to the comic book store, but um. <laughs> This time I didn't, uh, I sent out a mixture of different comic books to get graded. Some are uh, new, uh, some are old, but um, most of these are going to be for my own collection. So let's open this up and let's take a look and see what we got. And um, I'm excited to see what some of the grades are in some of these uh, older books, uh, what I consider classic. So let's take a look here. I like the bounds. Them are my favorite. The Diamond shirts and bounds. All right, so Parker might be disappointed this time. I don't see any packing peanuts. Yeah. We have a ton of bubble wrap, however. <laughs> so again, PGX sent out uh, the the sleeves for the books. Alright, here's our books. Where, the, where, where are they? Right here. And where are those peanut, packing peanuts? We didn't get no packing peanuts this time. Oh, come on, I want some. I know. They went with bubble wrap. Maybe they ran out of packing peanuts. They ran out? They must have ran out. It'll be okay. I'll let you hold this, okay? What? The bubble wrap. Okay. Can I hold the comic books too? Um, no, I'm gonna hold the comic books. You're gonna hold all the comic books? <laughs> yeah. Uh, why? Yep. Oh. Alright. So yep. You wanna hold that? Yep. All right, so here we go, the comics that are wrapped in the cellophane. Uh, I don't even remember how many I sent out. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got eight comics here. Oh, eight comics? Eight comics. Oh. Um, I know two are duplicates because I did send out two comic books for my buddy to get graded because uh, he never had a comic book graded before and he wanted to try it out. So I figured PGX would be the best way to go. It's easier on the pocketbook. Huh? For, for the first time. Now this stuff is serious business right here. Yo. Oh my. Alright, there we go. And I do know the, what the backs of the books look like, so I know which ones are which here. So we're going to skip through We'll save some of these ones for later, and we'll hit some of the newer. I'm going to go over the newer ones first, and save my older ones for, for last here. I have no idea. There we go, we'll just do it like this. Alright. So first, what we got here. Alright, so this is my Superior Spider-Man number 17. This is my Jones variant. Iron Man. See? Iron Man's on the back. Spider Man's on the front. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of happy with a 9.4. I'll be honest with you. The book had some, uh, did have some dings in it. I did ask to, um, to have it pressed, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I might have asked for them to uh, preview it first to see if a pressing would even help the grade, but. A 9.4 is not too bad. That cover is really good. Uh, I don't plan on getting rid of this book. I, I really, really like that. So, Superior Super, the Superior Spider-Man number 17 variant edition. I do have a, a graded Venom to match it, done by Jones as well. So, all right. Let's see what this one here is. So, this is uh, Rick and Morty number 35, the uh, Pickle Rick edition. This is the um, the, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300 cover homage. Um, 
Yeah. I think I'm going to do it all these coins I want to watch it. Okay. Cool. See, here it is. Who is that guy? That's Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick? So, I um. Pickle Rick. Picked it up just because we like the cover I swipes. Those people on the, on and the, actually, on these the are the ones uh, I sent out for myself, and then my buddy uh, sent out for one for, for him. One so he point. has a cover. He likes the uh, 300 cover swipe as them. well. And uh, let me see what's this one. Oh, this is again. Uh, a high, hey, this is uh, Rick and Morty 35. Around. Yeah, I'll turn it around. This is the uh, Iron Man 128 uh, homage cover. So. Or they. Um, I actually or ordered they, one of these yeah. they, um, from uh, CGC when they came out, and I got it on 9.8. So this is 9.4. I'm a little shocked about that because we the, never even opened the, it or took it out of vacation. Other than that, we ended up shipping it out straight, straight from getting it. Here it is. Here, see. So who are those girls? I have no idea, honey. Don't so, them, them a little those, surprise about those that. Those girls are stupid. Alright, so let's see how this one went. Not bad. So this here's um, Spider-Man number one, Todd McFarlane. Uh, this one here has the uh, signature by Todd McFarlane when this book came out. I see. See? That, that's the red And Spider-Man. it has a little, uh, the red, uh, it has the red um, stamp right here. To indicate that that was signed by McFarland before it got shipped out. Uh, happy with a 9.4. I mean, it could have been, it could have been a 5.0, and I, I wouldn't have cared. I mean, this is uh, this is one of my childhood classics, so I'm happy with that. Um, did I did. Do, do you only have one of those? Um, only one of these? Yeah, only one. one. I won. Um, ah, I was gonna yeah. say that uh, I did go through the PGX. Um, the PGX uh, v- signature verification, uh, so they did that for me. Very nice, I like that. All right, so let's take a look at this one. 4.0, a lot better than I thought. Um, this is Fantastic Four number 48, first appearance of Silver Surfer and Galacticus. I honestly thought this book was going to be like a two or 2.5. Um, I'm happy with a 4.0. Uh, again, another book that I'll probably never get rid of. Just basically send it out to get encapsulated so I can, I can keep it nice. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this one is. Ooh. Oh, this is the Avengers. The El Capitan Theater. Avengers number one. Uh, 8.5. A little surprised with that one. I think I did ask for this one to get pressed, but... It does have some color breaking going on here, um, so you know, a little tear there. So not too bad though. I mean, that's another book too. I really, really liked. Wanted to have it in my collection. See? Okay. And save this one for last. Okay. My Amazing Spider-Man number three hundred seven point oh. I did ask that one to get um, pressed, but it does definitely has some color breaks here um, along the along the edge of it. Um, still one of my prized possessions in my collection. I'm happy to have it. Oh. See? That's why I'm tired. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So those are the books we sent out, the books we got back, and the, and the grades we got. Um, I do have a submission out to CBCS. I only sent two books out to them. I wanted to give them a try. I haven't I haven't done that. Um, you know, the good thing about PGX obviously is the the cost to, to get things done. But CBCS is moving to Texas, no. and they're going to be pretty close yeah, by. So yeah. if I can schedule a pickup to go get my books and save on shipping, I might start using CBS a little bit more. But we'll uh, we'll we'll do another video whenever we get the CBS books in. Uh, so you guys can see those those two books I sent out, and uh, I'll compare them to you know what I think about the PGX cases. Bye. Other than that, uh, thank Bye. thank you guys for your time. Bye. I hope there was no pack and peanuts for me yesterday, so because I like pack and peanuts. I know you like pack and peanuts. You're disappointed. Mm. All right. Say bye.